Welcome to Living With Ease Meditation Series, Meditation number 31, entitled Digging Deeper in December. We have arrived at the final six of 24 countdown days, where everyone's schedules becoming increasingly hectic as Christmas quickly approaches. For that reason, I'm condensing the remaining meditations and concluding with a Christmas song in holistic frequencies from my spontaneous Christmas keyboard collection recorded in 2012. I begin today with several powerful truths from Luke chapter 19, pertinent to now. I conclude with my holistic frequency infused, spontaneously recorded Holy Spirit inspired instrumental piece, What Child Is This? Luke 19 begins with the account of Zacchaeus. What a profound example of Jesus noticing the ones who need him the most. Luke 19 verse 9 says, Jesus said to him, Your repentance shows that today life has come to you and to your household, and that you are a true son of Abraham. The Son of Man has come to seek out and to give life to those who are lost. The chapter continues with the parable of the talents and exhorts us to steward well all that we have been given. Verse 26 says, But to all who have been faithful, I will give even more to them. The rest of Luke chapter 19 records the account of Jesus' final journey into Jerusalem and his entrance into the city as the people shouted over him, highest praises to God for the one who comes as king in the name of the Lord. Heaven's peace and glory from the highest realm now comes to us. Verse 38. Jesus weeps over Jerusalem in verses 41 through 44 and cleanses the temple courts in verses 45 through 48. A significant truth Jesus made then, critical and significant to this juncture in his story, is stated in verse 46. He rebuked them saying, the scriptures declare, my father's house is to be filled with prayer. A house of prayer from Amos 9:11 is where he quotes that from. We are in a strategic and very significant time in his story to be the house of prayer that he has prophesied and decreed in this verse. Prayer is co-laboring with the intercession of both Jesus, Romans 8 verse 34, Hebrews 7 verse 25, and with Holy Spirit, Romans 8 verses 26 and 27. That's what releases the heart and will of our Heavenly Father on earth as it is in heaven. Prayer is intimate communion, both intimately and corporately, being one with the Father and one with the Son and one with one another. It's paramount as we dig deeper in December 23 and head into the new year of 2024. Be abundantly blessed.